Hello everyone, in the previous video I shared with you the method of installing the Gbox virtual machine to install the Google GMS and the Google App Store on Huawei mobile phones and tablets. This method is 100% successful, the user experience is very good. Today I will share with you a simpler method to install the Gbox virtual machine to realize the installation of the Google GMS, that is we can switch the country and the region of the Huawei app gallery that comes with Huawei mobile phone and uh, tablets to the country of Mexico and then we can easily find the Gbox and to install it quickly to achieve the purpose of installing Google GMS and the Google App Store. This is by far the easiest way to install Google GMS. Okay, then go to my Huawei mobile phone and have a look. Let's go! Okay, welcome to my Huawei mobile phone. Let's have a look. I already installed the Google's Gbox to install the Gbox and install the Google GMS and the Google App Store and all the Google's application. Let's have a look. I already installed the YouTube. Let's check it out. YouTube. Yeah, I can open the YouTube and play the videos very well. And the Drive, Google Drive, also it uh, I can uh, upload my files and uh, to save on the Google Cloud. Yeah, it works perfect. And the Google Map, it also works perfect. Can allocate, can locate my position, and I can use it to navigate and go back and you can see the photo so I can synchronize my photos to the Google Drive so Google Photos and Google Search here yeah, Google Search if you want to search something you can use a Google Search and uh, it worked perfect and the Chrome Google Chrome so I already logged on my uh, Google account so I can synchronize here you can look so I already logged my Google account and I can synchronize my favorite and my bookmarks. So let's have a look and click the dot here, three dots in the top and let's go to the bookmark here. You can see I have uh, 175 bookmarks so it can synchronize onto my mobile phone and I have another 14 marks for my PC from my PC. So both are uh, those are uh, PC's more bookmark and mobile bookmark can be synchronized easily. So after that, you can use the Google's application perfect. Okay, so uh, so in this video, I will show you how to uh, install the Gbox um, with uh, easiest way. So easier way to do that. We, we will use the app gallery. I mean the Huawei app gallery, which is uh, um, in, the, in your mobile phone or in your Pad, Made Pad Pro, so using the app gallery of the Huawei's official app gallery to install this uh, Gbox. Okay, then let's have a look the settings and let's check the my phone system and update to see the version of my system software update. Click it. So I'm currently using the Harmony OS 3, the latest version of my uh, Harmony OS. So this method also suitable for your EMUI 12 or EMUI uh, 13 or EMUI uh, 11 so all kinds of I mean the Huawei's uh, latest or previous uh, system is supported by this method I mean I mean use using this uh, Gbox uh, virtual machine method yeah can be support to all the kind of uh, Huawei's MatePad so MatePad Pro, MatePad 11 and all uh, EMUI 12, EMUI 13 so all kinds of uh, EMUI system and the Harmony OS uh, 2 and Harmony OS 3 all support okay then let's go to the app gallery let's have a look how to install the Gbox uh, to use uh, Google's uh, uh, applications and Google GMS. Let's click the app gallery to open the app gallery. And currently, I'm uh, my my uh, region is in the country of a uh, UK. So let's have a look. Um, click the me. This me. Click this me and go to down. Let's scroll down to the settings here. The settings. Click that settings and scroll down. Have a look. You can see I'm currently in the region, the country or region in the United Kingdom. But in the United Kingdom, you cannot find the G box. So we needed to change the uh, country and the region to Mexico. Yeah, and then you can find the G box. I will click United Kingdom and the change country and the region. Click it. Then click OK. Yes, and we will go to Mexico. Go to M. Go to the M. Yeah and go to the Mexico here Mexico and change your country to Mexico I continue yeah then you need to key in your password I mean your uh, 
your uh, Huawei account password. Yeah, can you click in your Huawei account password? Okay, after keying your card password and you will see your currently country region is Mexico, then click OK. So now uh, I changed my location from UK to the Mexico. Then you can search the G box here. You can search G box. Let's have a look. G box search here. Search. Yeah, you will find the G box on the top of the screen. Yeah. So before that, I will. Uh, Uninstall, so I will uninstall the G box. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, so uninstall the G box, uninstall. So all your uh, Google's application will be disappeared immediately. I mean, the Google GMS, the Google's environment um, disappeared because I deleted. Very simple. And go back to the app gallery and we go to click this G box. You will see that uh, the size is four uh, megabyte, and uh, there's some uh, introduction of this uh, G box. Let's go here, and uh, the latest version is uh, January 18th. This is the latest version, and click this one to have uh, some introduction. G box always allows you to use do account or sign in something blah blah like that. You can have a look and go back. So. G box and click install here this blue button click install so that you will see the G box will be installed into your Huawei phone installing still okay click you can see open here which means you already finished the installation here you can see here this is newly installed G box okay then very very simple so right so let's click the G box and click agree and disable battery optimization which means uh, to prevent the uh, Huawei mobile phone to kill I mean kill this uh, Gbox application in the background then you will not use the uh, application so we are needed to disable the battery optimization click disable and let's have a look check here this uh, this uh, green button to check the authority should be get, get uh, provided to uh, to the Gbox okay I click check and the required permissions we need to enable some uh, necessary permissions click enable and you can see uh, if you want to use a google map so i recommend that you can allow only while in use or allow all the time if you allow only while in use have any issues then i suggest you allow all the time if you want to use a google map to navigate to locate your position so for me i just click allow while only while in use click the first one allow a uh, message so click allow and access media file allow and access device information allow so you can see it is enabled and it's, this button is gray out so let's go back and then you can see there's uh, no google app store no problem i think so if you want to see the google app store it's very easy you just uh, for example if you want to see the google app store then you just a long time click this one long time click this one and you will see download this button here the download you can click the download then it will yeah then it will open the google play service the google play store yeah it's very easy right google play store and sign in click sign in to sign in to the uh, google account okay then i click the uh, button of uh, the sign in to sign in the google account so uh, i mean this uh, uh, the g box will simulate a model another model of the uh, mobile phone like samsung's model or other models which is uh, i mean uh, ha which has the uh, google uh, i mean the google gms uh, so it will simulate another model of the uh, of your phone so you maybe you will see receive an email uh, in your google uh, gmail in your gmail account in your gmail you will receive an email said there's another phone logged in your google account which means the gbox is simulate another model of the phone okay i will key in my uh, google account yeah and click next I click next after that then we will key in our password okay then i key in my password okay then we click next okay so click then i click i agree very easy right just a second 
Okay, perfect. So uh, we already logged in the Google Google uh, Play Store. You can see this your device isn't compatible with this version. It's no problem. We just uh, go back. Yes. Here we go back. Yeah, then we will go back the main screen of the uh, uh, Google App Store. So if you want to install the uh, other applications, like if you want to install the YouTube, YouTube, then search it. You will find this YouTube in the App Store. Yeah, it's right. Then click Install to install the YouTube. Let's have a look. Just be patient. It depends on your internet speed. Just be patient until it finished the installation. Okay, perfect. So you can see the finished the installed. The, the YouTube is installed successfully. Let's go back to our desktop. You can see there's no YouTube. Okay, no problem. Then I go to Gbox again. Then you can see, tried adding to launcher. So you need to give this uh, Gbox uh, the, uh, the permission to add the quick sh the shortcut onto your screen. So let's go to the settings and uh, go to the permission here. This one is the permission. Give the permission here and you can see allowed and denied. So we needed to give the permission of the uh, create home screen shortcut give this permission here click it and allow click allow and go back so you can see create home screen shortcut so if you um, then you after that then we can add a shortcut on on our desktop so you can see there are other authorities here or other permissions it depends on your own uh, requirement if you want to use the uh, related permission you need to need to give it the related permission for example if you want to use the calendar then you need to give, give the calendar the permission allow go back go back so let's go back to the screen and then you can go back to the gbox and how to add a, add a shortcut just a long time click this this youtube button and click this one create a shortcut create a shortcut then add the shortcut okay then go back you can see the youtube is already here so uh, for for the other another method to go to the settings permission is you can go to the settings and go to the app and the service here app and the service and then go to apps and then you can search here gbox and gbox is here then you can go to gbox and the permission here go to the permission and you can uh, i mean uh, give the permission of the create home screen shortcut or give the other permissions like a camera or microphone or physical activities something like that this is another method if you want to change the permission okay let's go back and we can click the YouTube to have a look. Click the YouTube if it works or not. Yeah, perfect. You can see yeah, the YouTube can be opened and can be played perfect. Okay, go back. So let's go back to the Gbox here, Gbox. And you, can, you can't find the Google app, uh, I mean Google Play Store. No problem. You just long time click anyone. For example, you can long time click this one and click upgrade click upgrade and you can see you have you will uh find the google app store will be launched and go back and you can see the google play is here and you can search for the application if you want okay so this is one way to uh i mean to uh, give, give you the uh instruction how to launch the google app store and another way is you can long time click anyone for example this uh, this one google drive or docs long time click and click this download here click download and you will see the google play store also can be triggered you can find that one and go back and you can now search for your uh, your uh, applications if you want to install like chrome you can click the install to install the uh, chrome applications let's have a look i will install the chrome again click install Okay, Chrome installed successfully, then you can see it automatically, automatically pop up the window for you to add a shortcut onto your screen. I click add. So let's go back. You can see the Chrome is already on your screen. You can see the Chrome is already on your screen. Then we can click the Chrome to open the Chrome. And see it access your contact. Click allow. And it will synchronize, synchronize 
uh, your bookmark and click accept and continue you can see your Google account is already here so you can synchronize your history or bookmarks something like that click I am in yes I'm in so that your uh, bookmark will be synchronized and your uh, uh, browse history will be synchronized it's very easy to uh, synchronize I mean browsing the web page when synchronized with your PCs or other phones okay so it's it's a Chrome it's very easy right then you can uh, re repeat the process and uh, to uh, trigger this uh, trigger this uh, Google App Store again click download so go and go back and search something like that it's a very repeated process to install all the applications if you want okay if you like my sharing don't forget to sum up and see you next time bye bye